block. You already consumed one. Get quest. Should you be trapped in a windless land? I don't know. A child's secret. Head to the certain spot and then it'll go spe- Uh, in front of the Los Angeles Cathedral. Discover a little girl playing with her imaginary friend. Hey! Look over there! Maybe she has an invisible VR headset! Is that where she's playing? She's all by herself, right? I would say wording, but no. Because she's acting as if she's talking and laughing with somebody else. <laughs> uh, I ain't an engineer friend out. too when I was a kid. <laughs> Is this why Patrick wanted me to... Oh god. Alright, screw it. What? You mean, you used to act like that too? Why should you be surprised? Uh, so is this an invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes? Or do they just exist in your imagination? Uh, either or. Imaginary means in your imagination, and your imagination means imaginary. It's literally mean X equals X. Imaginary. Oh, you actually have to think about it. mean imagined friend, right? Why didn't you just say so? Why do you have to ask and make me wonder if you know what? Screw it. I don't know. Like, Paimon could be seriously old for all I know. And the fact that Paimon doesn't even know about the idea of an imaginary friend as though the idea of a childhood does not apply to Paimon despite Paimon's chibi feature is paradoxical. So, this imaginary friend of yours, when does Paimon get to meet them? We don't hang out anymore because I grew up and got out of the concept because I focus my... my... myself on reality. Seriously? <laughs> so, imagine... Yes! Oh, Paimon was looking forward no. to... No! No way! You guys are so lucky! Because they have this game in Leeway. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. No, I, uh, no. <laughs> I don't oh, think Traveler. I can. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here, cliche. Ah, oh, tone deaf bard. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. Why are you interested in what Lisa is doing? <laughs> Why does the thought of Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous? Right. Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. Uh, the fact that you call her elegant means she somehow, to me, sounds like she beat you in a submission, made her, made you tell that she was like a good person or something. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. Define... Oh, screw it. D dangerous Monocle equipped with some sort of detector, regular monocle to me. <laughs> I know, right? Now Apparently, like though, it's called a Nernama detector. Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while. And also, I'm testing it out for her, to see if it actually works. Okay, so... Huh? Why uh, can't Lisa use it? Hmm... Perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. Uh, okay. So you can see them? Go on, tell us. What does his imaginary friend look like? Really, you're gonna and my character looks at Palmer like, why would you ask that question? <laughs> that would be telling. Exactly. Anyway, it's all yours now, traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Do I have to use elemental sight? Okay. Do you see him? Uh, yeah, it's like they're both friends. Why are they jumping up in the oh, air so like that? work for you too. Elemental sight. Paimon wants to see. Wait. I oh, know that's not an elemental sight. It's, it's a Paimon's monocle. Eyes? All right then, you just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Oh god. Should you be trapped in a windless land? I swear to God, Hoyoverse just heard of the idea imaginary friend. 
from like a weird, I wouldn't say weird childhood aspect, but like just this idea alone. And they're probably like, huh, what happens if we put in a new Genshin Impact game? You. I can barely hear you. Uh, Behold, a floaty imaginary friend for floaty headed Flora. A bloody floaty. No. Wait, imaginary friends can be plants now? Uh, you expect them to be people? <laughs> Hi, Traveler. Hi, Bard. Uh, sure. question. How can I help? Who's your friend? Hmm. Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. Now that I keep talking about this whole imaginary friend thing, it's like, where did, like, the idea of, ma or not, not the idea, like, where did the concept within the game imaginary friends originate? Mm, no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. Who the hell is leaving you out? Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. What's wrong with this? Even though it's not normal, I ask, cliche. Friends with a flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly up into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Isn't right. that called being blown away? Uh, that's that's not being called blown away. The idea of hearing the term imaginary friend from such a long while ago and having it be put in a Genshin Impact game where the concept of nor normality is constantly being challenged and redefined is in a way blowing you away. Or at least to me it is. <laughs> That's what some people like to call it. I really wonder who your idea of some people is and who the other people are not calling it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. So, if this explorer didn't tell you the stories, would this plant exist? I think his name was Stanley. Ooh, can't remember. Maybe you remember, Patrick, you'll put a flashback or not. Stanley's an adventurer, and you can uh -huh. tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. The amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. Right. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Why? How's the great ghost to me? Oh, God. <laughs> Which child shall we interrogate next? Interrogate. Paimon's thinking. Oh, how about that little guy on the bridge? Okay. Go for it. Why? 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 You're friends with a rune guard. No way! Hmm. Well, that is unexpected. Why are these imaginary friends just popping up now? Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin guard? I've heard of guardian angels, but come on. Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. How do you know? Uh, uh, what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. That line you love to say so much. What? Huh? I'm in the favorite line. I'll we'll explain the area ahead of us later. Uh, how about we explore the area ahead of us later? How about we explore the area ahead of us later? And we go to a different, uh... Is that actually Children are more open-minded. I don't know. Is that what Shut it? up. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, the thing about Maya wine and is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Drink! You drinkaholic! Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. Well, there are plenty of people who are alone, so of course that's bound to happen. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you are being deliberately uncivil. If I didn't know any better, I'm going to personally be offended by what you say, cliche. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? <laughs> Just drink responsibly, but not too much. Because if you would do too much, I'll do too much to you. Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? 
Uh, I know I'm remember. Yeah, she says that whenever you try to leave the map. Okay. Also, I'm thinking. Also, yeah, it is probably another sibling rivalry between Daluk and Kaya. Throw you out. Throw you out. I'm gonna be offended even more than you are gonna be offended. Cliche. You know, the same way you threw out father's legacy. You sold off his mansion, or maybe you've forgotten. Or maybe I'm gonna take it personal. You know, you know what? I'm gonna one up taking it personal and make you take it more personal. Now what? Cliche. I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Hmm. I'm saying that holding on to that is not purpose, which is probably gonna piss him off, piss off Kai even more. Is that so? That I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase. You're gonna bring that up. Sorry, I have no recollection. Sorry, I'm stupid. Don't bother asking me about it. That's odd, Mr. Deluke. I'm sure I saw such a vase in your home. A beautiful one, unmistakable, in fact. Hmm, is that his father's vase, the cremated vase? Nobody has... Uh. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Hmm, what if there was, I wonder? Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. Seems like our adults are the same everywhere. Unless you find a man-child or woman-child, in which case... I don't know what to say about that. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon, for one, never wants to grow up. Okay, Peter Pan! Hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age, exactly, do people's imaginary friends disappear? At what age do people grow up? Let's go and check. Oh, God, are we gonna watch someone lose their childhood? <laughs> hmm. See how Ellen how is doing. about Ellen? Someone of her age. I don't know. Uh-oh. How bad could it possibly be? I wonder. No, no, I'll my honest. Oh, what? So Ellie looks up to Master G. Gene, what is Gene oh. doing here? He's a simp. <laughs> okay. Gene Allen's a magical <coughs> friend. Uh, as much as child, I really determined to become a knight. Determined. Yeah, she's so conscientious, it's terrifying. Didn't I say the other option, but you're going to go with the one I didn't go? Hmm? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing here? And why am I not surprised you're over there when I'm talking to my imaginary friend? Are you all can you bet? Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Why? Too much of a coincidence for Stanley. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. Why? So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Okay. Let's go with it. Seems Ellen really wants Something wrong that. Oh, that I was thinking. It's not every day I get Gee, to hang I wonder out if the Stanley guy is important. <laughs> Would you for some sword training? Uh, does that mean I get to smack you down and watch you get up a hundred times in a row? Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Oh, it means I don't get to smack you down and watch you get back up. It means I get to smack these things down. Watch them get back up. Shame. How can I smack? Done. So that's how to do it. How are you surprised? Thank you. It's clear it's still the long way to go. And also, I gotta use washroom, so. A few moments later. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. Why? She's how's she pro? <laughs> well. I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. 
One day, I'll be the best that there ever was, cliche. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, beauty churl. Is this a Pokemon reference? I feel like this is a Pokemon <laughs> reference right here. <laughs> Thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Okay. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Okay. Literary night. Could you deliver a message to Jack for me? Uh, fine. He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion with Stanley today. Mm. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. Okay. We were gonna meet up tonight and discuss. Also, I can't see you because my uh, <laughs> jellyfish pet is playing. Another day. <clears throat> Great. Thank you so much. I'm going to be appreciative. Without any question. <laughs> Alright, uh. We'll just get a uh, jungle in there. Go. There we go. You should bring Jean. I literally did say a jungle. We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Uh huh. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. Which Looks is? like we can't go any further. Looks like we can't go any further, Cliche. You're not to worry. Allow me. Those who really? wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. Running back on the loop Get. this time. So Venti has. Ugh. Ah, God, my cheek. Venti has a special ability in which he can create air currents. Nice. In trial stand. Ah, God, my cheek. Well, I mean, he's the animal archon, so what do you expect? <laughs> Let's play! My character hit harder than me. Get your yeah. pack together. Not really on set. Well, we'll have to hit anyways. God, Fanny, pull yourself together. There we go, freeze every last one of you. Guys are getting harder to hit. And I don't like that. Now what do we have here? I think you can get away. Hmm. <laughs> he, he getting smacked in midair. Prepare to be blown away! These guys are getting so damn hard. Get burnt in a burning tornado. Eventually. This'll hit harder. Much harder. Time for takeoff. Where is it at? Whoa. Are those guys? Probably them. Okay. Wait. Burn everything alive. Burn everything. Here we go. Nothing lasts forever. Right here. Emerge. Do wants to get smacked down. I'm not talking about smack down. There we go. There goes the abyss. Grab the chest first and then talk to them. Stanley and Jack. I barely remember Stanley. <sighs> I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. Wait, what? I was so sure I could have 
died. I didn't hear anything else. Maybe I was too fast. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, right? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Right, and he, he never got his question answered. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. Then why didn't you deal with it by yourself? Oh, you are Stanley? You were that legendary? <laughs> the very same. God, he's got that voice. He's like, what are you talking about? Voice. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? What do you think? <laughs> well, I think you're now in the safe hands of Stan Witchgate. Okay, motion passed by <sighs> unanimous consent. Let's head further in. Okay. Okay. So, I'm guessing you mostly came here because you wanted to hear my adventure stories. Am uh, I right? Sure, why not? We really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I Do you know who I am, cliche? Renowned adventurer of Monster. Yeah, I think we got that. Attitude says me that you don't got that. I am Stan, the living legend. Stanley, who braved the magic You don't power. need to keep saying it. Now stop. Enough already. <sighs> stop name dropping yourself every time you open your mouth. Exactly. It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. How is he amazing? Well, Jack will listen, won't you? Where was it? Is this like you your partner, story Mr. quest Mr. supposed to be a critique of Mr. every Mr. single character who name drops themselves? Precisely! There was deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us. As far as the eye could see, Zack was the back. Zack? Suddenly, my partner was caught in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow! So, did he make it? Wow, so easily impressed! Exactly. I'm not going to question that at, at all. Wow, <laughs> get in the watch block. Get wet and electrified at the same time. Not in a good way. <laughs> Poor guy. How could that happen? Come on. Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. <laughs> I, I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement You know it's bad when probably want someone to stop talking. <laughs> yes. Whatever happens. I agree. No adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. Mm. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows and to have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt mm. in the wind. That's... That's the key. Okay, I can barely. Yeah. My guess oh, is no. the most I can aspire to right crap. now is beginning. Oh crap! I oh damn it! I screwed up. I screwed that up so bad. All right, let's try it again. A place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Uh, because my guess is they were is looking for someone like Venti. The Merdivari is the most terrifying place in the world because there's no wind there. Fire and ice! How does it go? Right Nobody knows. Now. Right here. Life goes on. Except when it doesn't. Oh. That's also a thing. What? Dang, right she should die so easily. Dang, she should die so easily. Oh wow, she should die so easily. Crap. Dang, these guys hit so damn hard. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! These guys are getting worse. Oh, I know why. Because, because the...
buffs your CC just sucks. Now I know why. It's because all these buffs ran out. So that's kind of why. A few minutes later. There we go. Get them. Oh crap. Um. Crap. Brace yourself. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, that's right. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, I'm uber screwed if I can't get this together properly. Uh. Dang it. Um. Food. Crap. Yahoo! Come on. Don't get hit. Time for takeoff. Me. Yeah, I, I noticed that I did that. I'm like, oops. Crap. Crap! Oh, oh, dang it. I need extra stamina. A few moments later. Uh, either or is fine. Ow. Crap! Oh, dang it! Um. Hey, it's the fire. Come on. Uh, the last hardest part. Uh, oh crap. Let's play. Ah, uh, finally. Uh. Trevor, I believe I've made a small discovery. I believe I somehow punched about my weight and uh handled NPCs that are like 20 or 30, 40 times over my level. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? Um, on, on Stanley or Jack? Uh, what? So Jack is like a what? version. What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, it's and a look of staunch determination on his face. You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Wow. Interesting right, idea, but is it true? What, that he's his own imaginary friend and he's so tied by himself? Please excuse me, uh, I'll be leaving now. Or is it Stanley? Or no, 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 Stanley, I mean Jack. Because Jack is looking at... Bye, Stanley. Stanley. Hmm. Do you two still have time to spare? Two. Were you talking to us, or were you talking to the two Stanleys? And also, why don't you see Paimon? Oh, what is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. Is it... Is... <laughs> exclaimed Paimon. Is it he's a gigantic fraud? Is that his secret? The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The Sword of Brilliant Valor and the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Those names sound fake. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt. Okay. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? Why did he abandon them in the wild? Uh, I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of... Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited. And my parents don't support my goals one bit. Hmm, but as a character from the Genshin manga, by the way, because this game apparently has a manga. Okay, so there's extra story that I don't know about. I don't know. The, na the names of the weapons sounded fake. I, I didn't say Vanessa's sounded fake. So, what do you say? Help a yes. I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. Aww, poor Jack. Fine. Venti, you coming to... Mm, I don't know. I don't know, cliche. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. 
help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. That's gonna convince Venti. Uh, Donna Lupa Gorge, was it? <laughs> yeah, oh, wine is gonna convince Venti. Oh, okay. Hmm. Why did he leave him there? Chris Golem on set, head there. Uh, nah. Fine, grab this, and move it on. Search for the sword of brilliant valor. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, or the shield of whatever the hell it is. Is it inside that hut right there? Or not? I'm starting to get the feeling that Stanley may or who? Hey, that bunch of girls. Are they holding some kind of ceremony? Dang it! Oh god, these guys. And what's with that pirate? Oh, where'd that tornado go? The tornado go all the way outside. Somehow spawning a tornado inside gets it to spawn outside. Surely this can't be. There we go. Nice. Uh, attack climbing character, so I can continue to heal. Actually, I know Chi can only heal while she attacks. She got her ice attack. Life goes on. Except when you kill something, then life doesn't really go on. Come on. Grip. Nice and spicy. Come on. Get hit so damn hard. Get lightning struck. Oh, there's the sword. I thought the sword was fake for a second. Is that all? Here. There we go. Sacred name, Fortune Preserver. There we go. I burnt, shocked, and froze everything all at the same time. I mean, the illusion. Yeah. And back. Oh, right. Are you too tall to enter this building? Or are you just stuck on the corner? No, you're, you're stuck on the corner. Oh. Away. Uh. Dang it! Step! Step! Come on out! Emerge! Right now! Huh. Nice and spicy! Get super charge! Right here! Right now! Emerge! Hard. Oh, you hit super hard. Actually, that's not really hard. Right now, right here. Fine. Get overloaded by every single elemental. A sight to behold. Get divine punish. Oh no! Wait. Ah, oh, dang it! There's one more. Emerge. Right now. Scrambled. Finally. Ah, ah. Hello and behold. The sword <laughs> wow, the uh, the Ayamiko thing is still striking the sword like it's still an enemy or something. Are you sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear too. The sword was a fraud. Why would Hilly Trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? Because anything that looks like junk could be considered valuable to them. And the fact that we are talking about this makes me wonder if Stanley, like, made off. Uh, uh, seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm out of... Hmm. Say, Jack, have you ever seen an animo crystal? If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night... Its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Fine. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light uh, that guards you out from the darkness. That was some very elaborate ox dung. Do oxes exist in this game now that I think about it? Excellent recovery, I almost filled for it myself. You're right. 
You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. Why? <laughs> mm-hmm. So let's scout around. It's definitely in Dada Upa Gorge, so... Huh? Dada Upa Gorge, huh? He's hiding behind there. Also... There's somebody there. Somebody there is cliche. He's gonna run away. How could they not see him? Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. Yes, he what is. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Uh, just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves passed by is all. Just to go over that thought I had for a second, we're looking for both a sword and shield. I'm really starting to think there are Pokemon subtle Pokemon references in this story quest, now that I think about it. Because one of the characters, I think Ellie, who was like, she wants to be the very best, like Jean. And then we have an actual sword and shield, like the game Pokemon Sword and Shield. What? Where? I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? Are we going to fight a big wolf? Are we going to fight Eternatus? Is there going to be another Pokemon reference? Are we going to fight something that looks like Eternatus? Really? Lo and behold, the shield of magnificent honor. No. But for the sake of discussion, I'll just go with it. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. Yeah, all the more reason to throw it into the fire. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? Anybody. Even... Uh, I feel like, uh... I feel like we're having a Zelda reference because there are wooden shields in Zelda. There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Uh, does wearing wine stains with pride it's have is pride? Surely, an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? This idea where just the things that are good don't actually look good, but it's not for pres present. Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Uh, is that not the true meaning of honor? I agree, there's a, sh there's a shield, but he is on top of war. You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. I feel like this story quest is critiquing a bunch of things in other games. Okay then. Well, maybe if. Nah, we're gonna smack it now. <clears throat> well, okay. You take it from here. Oh, uh, paper it. Really? <laughs> really? Okay, friendship down. Uh -oh. He did not seem to appreciate that. No, that went down. He did not seem to appreciate that. Shield. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Seems cheerful enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means. We ticked him. And we got it. We gotta fight these guys off and yeah, right here. Alright, file! There we go. Got him. So we gotta convince him. And he runs away. Hey! He dropped the shield of magnificent honor and man! Just go with it. Just go with it. Guys, thank you so much! I can't believe I actually found them. Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found. <laughs> I wonder if Jack is like Stanley. In, uh, uh, it, not like Stanley, like Ash from Pokemon. Look, Mom, be proud of me! God, no. Don't, like... Hey, wait! The wine, you promised! Oh, am I at... Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Uh, <laughs> Uh, hey, <laughs> what are you doing here, Bob? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. That's some uh, that's some next level of gullible. 
god. Paimon's <laughs> starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. He is a fraud who's convincing a little kid who... who's easily gullible. Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Uh, yes. Is this a critique on the ease, the vulnerability of kids' feelings that kids don't accept the truth? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area of my house. Wow. Then I admire your perseverance. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer yeah. like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichur. Yes. I, uh, I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Why are you mm -hmm. spying on everybody? What was your purpose in all this? Guilty conscience, much? More like he doesn't want to stay and uh, tell the truth. Well, he much. shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. At what? How easy it is to lie to little kids and get them to believe anything? Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. Mm. I wonder. If such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? Backwards. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. Anyway, I propose we take a trip to Angel's Share tonight. Fine. Do it. Just do it. There we go. <sighs> Sit down! And let's see... Oh god, Stanley. He's probably drinking away. Tell me, Stan. Tell me what should I do? He's looking towards an idealized version of himself. Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? It's his imaginary friend. <laughs> Surely not. Even I've never heard tell of a second Stanley. Oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Miljabari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why? Is this person Why? not Stanley? And they're just taking on the name Stanley from someone they actually knew who died? And they're just living up to an idealized version of sort of themselves? You've been living a lie. If only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me. You would have never died in that windless corner of the world. You were a renowned adventurer. Destined to become a legendary thing. But now, that'll never happen. Because your life was cut short. And all because of a worthless tag-along. He is the worthless tag-along. Uh, does anyone get what's going on here? I have one idea. Was it like an older brother or an older individual who he looked up to? I think our friend really did make it to the Mare Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is... I fear that may be the case. Stanley. For so many years I've lived in fear. Mondstadt must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madrivari. He's the greatest adventure there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I... I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. Mm. Are you guys planning on these dropping much longer? They, uh, they know. He knows that they know. Yikes! We're busted! Well, now what? You gonna tell the truth? Who you really are? Trying to make a conversation with Stanley. Go away. What? Leave now. Don't make me tell you again. Honorary Knight, Venti, and Paimon have been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're gonna pay for someone to fix up the sword of brilliant valor and shield of magnificent honor for me. That's wonderful! So, Jack, 
Is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? This is the part where you get the hell out of here? No, not yet. <laughs> I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. You should be, like, this is the type of uh, advice Ash should have gotten in Pokemon. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> They're what inspired me to become an adventurer in the first place. They... oh my god. Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. We'll see you tomorrow then. After your hangover wears off, maybe you could tell me some more of your stories? Hmm. Stanley's Don't go really pursue your dreams until you're you older. <laughs> 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 Stanley's really fine with okay, do you think? Wording. Yeah. Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Huh? All of a sudden, you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Well, I guess he has to get so drunk he has to face something at some point. Just now, I couldn't <laughs> bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure, unblemished. Mm. Just a weary old feckless frog. That kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. Mm, you're not a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences, they're all true, aren't they? It depends on the person telling the story. Stories? <laughs> experiences? <laughs> What's the point of them anymore? When you looked up to the real Stanley, you keep comparing yourself and you keep, like, encompassing yourself encapsulating yourself around the person you've idolized? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley, that's my biggest secret of all, and my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story, but his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly any, but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land where his spirit can never be recovered whole life he's been drowning in guilt. Exactly. Mm. Even in his memory, the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. Mm. I'm completely and utterly worthless. I was walk, reading a bunch of uh, death of a salesman, and I'm like, oh god, is this gonna be a death of a salesman moment here? No adventurer should have to go that way. <laughs> no adventurer ever. But they did. Hans Archibald. <sighs> Hans Archibald. What's your name? How did you know? Because <laughs> Venti always. <sighs> the wind! I can hear the wind blowing in the Mare Javari. I always believed you existed. Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? Sorry. It's gonna take me some time to calm back down, but I think that I'm gonna be okay. Okay. So now he's finally gonna oh, admit to himself. Wonderful. Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally go his own way. Mm. This calls for a celebration. And by celebration I do of course mean libation. Libation. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? And by that, you mean you're going to drink yourself to the floor. <laughs> no, the wine here is too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. All right. Fetch the wine! <laughs> 
Okay, fine. We'll go with what? that. Where's that supposed to be? Uh, we have to climb up uh, hey, I think board. I know where possibly. Don't know where. Anyways, guess where Jack is? <laughs> The hardest part of the quest, climbing up the statue. There we go, done. Moving on. You made it. Finally. Yes, after struggling with that statue. Just tell us <sighs> where you mean next time, okay? We looked everywhere. I didn't. <sighs> so, did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Uh, well, <laughs> sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. Let me guess, it wasn't a rare collector's edition vintage? And actually, it's just a half bottle of regular cider. Why did I somehow see that coming from a mile away? <sighs> this takes me back. To what? Having to get wine from people when they half, half promise and give you whatever they haphazardly gave? The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. Were you a little child? Were you a freaking dragon? It was about 2,600 years ago, before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. At that time, Old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant, who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Or that. Old Mondstadt? <laughs> oh, Paimon remembers. Nowadays it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before. I don't remember. Well, I barely remember, but like, oh well. That's right. The tyrant of the winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, god of storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the thousand winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. Oh, okay. So you were just part of the sea of wisps. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. A gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better. Or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny elemental being? Without a human form? Mm. Then do, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? Yep. <sighs> My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. Mm. So you also relate to Stanley insofar as you had a you had a friend who also died way back when. Possibly another elemental. In Old Mondstadt transpired the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. The lyre he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn, for the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar, were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand, let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Once that began anew, the story passed down. And since then, never has another worn its crown. Because uh, it's sort of like the American Revolution. They gave up the monarchy so and started their own uh, democracy. What happened to your friend? <laughs> he died. Same situation as with Stanley's friend. Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing Pine. Hope because of a couple of apples, fetch us some meat and fish, now apples. Now's the time you suddenly get a craving for apples. <laughs> Getting a little... Oh, so fish. <sighs> you know, you're so smart it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. Why, that, uh, I can keep up with you? But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. Hmm. The third wheel's gone. 
Wait, what? What third wheel? A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze. <sighs> I'm back to a song that I first heard from him. What wheel? I'm listening. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. Uh -huh. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. Hi, Coop. There we go. I finished that quest. 